Yo, what's up everybody? I am the Dragon Guy of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and I know, I, I have bed here. I'm weird. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to Questions with the Dragon. Now, the reason why I'm not showing my screen capture at the moment is because my screen capture has, you know, pictures that I can't show on the internet. Sorry guys, I don't want my channel dying, and I don't want YouTube to misconstrue that picture as in ass and delete my channel so rather not so i'm opting to do myself a very good favor and the reason why i just switched over is because i have a freaking large itch on my leg and it's annoying the fuck out of me and my part of my uh setup is underneath my leg so yeah anyway i'm gonna answer some of these questions as thoroughly as i possibly can i'm gonna have my uh my thing up here and i will see so, first question it wants to say is, what are some of the morals you live by? Um, some of the morals I live by is that, well, define a moral. Hold on, I, I need to find a moral. <laughs> because, good lord. Moral, right, cons concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior and the goodness and badness of the human character. I see. I always lived by a strict set of rules like you do you don't want one what you want done unto you and I've always operated on that mentality that if you if I want it done to me then I will do it to somebody else so if I'm gonna punch somebody I expect to be punched back if you punch me expect to be punched back um if you do me wrong then eventually all things come back around and I'll do wrong to you so I live by that same set of code that I've always I always operated under. I'm always I've always been a good person. I don't want to be the bad person, but if I gotta be a bad person to give karma, it's it's long way to break. Then I will do it for you. So, also I um I always try to say I have the moral high ground on everything, but it's it's never really that case. I usually sit back and let karma do its work, but sometimes. Um, let's say if you start a fight with me, you punch me, I'm going to end up punching you back. There, I'm not going to sit here and let someone attack me. If it's a woman, that's different. I cannot punch a woman. And that's actually another moral I have. I will never strike a woman. I will not. I refuse. And I refuse until the day I die. And I will continue to for a long, long period. Well, again, until I die. Like... If I have to block something to, you know, prevent myself from getting hurt, yeah, I will defend myself, but I'm not going to throw a damn punch. I can't. I will ta I, I will take you to the ground like, you know, I've been taught to do and, you know, hold you down, but I'm not going to strike you. I'm not going to hit you. I am not going to, you know, do anything that is out of my moral compass. But if I gotta protect myself by taking you down, that's how that's how I'm gonna play. But let me go into another one because I'm going a little too far in this one. Two, what is your goal in life? To make some sort of money? <laughs> Anything? I'm i I'm I'm actually serious. Do you like the lights on or off? Off. Like I, I most of the time I I uh I record with the lights off. And it's, that doesn't mean that that's the reason why I um I I don't have face cam very much anymore. It's because XSplit will literally not ha let me have a face cam while I'm doing some videos on XSplit, and XSplit is the only thing I can stream a game on. So good lord. So yes, lights off. <laughs> Do you enjoy one-on-one -on -one outings, or do you prefer big groups? Okay. Let me set let me set this record straight. Oh my god, why is my leg itch so much? Um. Do I enjoy outings? Yes. Do I care if it's one-on-one? -on -one? No. Do I care if it's a big group? No. If I'm with my girl, if I'm with a girlfriend, then. Do I want it to be a one-on-one -on -one experience most of the time? Yes, because I would like some private time with my girlfriend. I don't need to be in big groups with my girlfriend all the damn time. Um, but if 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 a large group of my friends wanted to go and I'm invited, definitely. But I don't normally 
go out very often and I don't get invited out very often I'm normally here doing videos for you guys so yeah yeah set up yeah <laughs> I need to shut this off before it's a 10%. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> okay. What is, your what is your favorite part of the female body? Not answering that question. Moving on. <laughs> you guys can already guess. There's, there's three major sections. Nah, I'm just playing with you guys. The eyes. I give it away for most things. I have to pick the. I have to pick a, a second. Let's just go with my first answer. <laughs> what is the one thing you don't like about me? Hmm. Well, okay. These are questions that you normally will people will ask another person. So I'm gonna go on. But the one thing I don't like about myself is that I am, you know, I'm a procrastinator and I hate it. I try to change it and I don't. So, fuck. Are you a virgin? No. How many times have you been in love? Only twice. And that's because me and the, and me and the girl had a long, long period of a relationship. And it ended so abruptly. So... Uh, hey, it's better to have loved than to lost and to never loved at all. Have you ever longed for a woman that was much older than you? Sometimes. Only sometimes. And it's because these days you can't really find a woman around like my age, which is 22, 23, who is mature enough to, you know, be in an actual relationship. Because most women these days are centered around being self-centered. They'd rather figure things out and, you know, go on to, like, the bad boys and shit and uh, being, you know, showered with gifts and love rather than, you know, having an equal partnership and a relationship. So, it... Believe me, that's why I I mostly avoided mostly every girl in my, in my school and high school. They were not. They were not good people. Most girls were not good people, believe me. Even the friends I did come out of school with sometimes were bad, were bad people. There was only one girl that I can possibly say that came out of my that was my high school, which was an actual good person. And that was one of my best friends. Her name was Je I'm going to call her Jenny and I'm going to going to call her Jenny. No one needs to know more of that name. But her name is Jenny, and, pe and she knows who I'm talking about if she ever sees this. She was the best person to ever come out. And why? Because all my other friends decided amongst themselves that they hated being around me. And some of them were my best friends. So it was a little bit upsetting, And but she was the only one that didn't change. She always liked being... Um, to herself, she loved being, you know, prog progressive and productive. And that's all she was ever doing. She's still doing that today. She's in college, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of her. And she's still one of my best friends. We don't very talk very often, but when I do, m me and her get along very well. And I do still respect that girl. So, yeah. What is the worst day you've ever been on? The worst date I've ever been on. Um, I went to the movie theaters with this one girl. Who brought not only her cousin, but another friend of hers. And I spent the entire time. Well, me and her spent the, uh, and the time in the movie theaters together. And that was fine. We watched a good movie. And when we came out, we went to a, um, a restaurant, TJ Friday's, which was right next to it. And... All, all they had was questions for me. Her friends and her, I believe her friend and her cousin, I believe it was a cousin, I'm not very sure. I don't remember very much of this. I tried to blank it out as much as possible. But she spent less time talking to me than anybody else. And it was more along the lines of, they had more questions for me than she had questions for me. 
And it was just one, it was one day. And after that, she dumped me. Yeah. So, yeah. What is a deal breaker for you? So, basically, what is a deal breaker for me? Um, being bougie as fuck. Don't, don't be bougie. I, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with someone snobby. I can't deal with it at all. I will not deal with snobby ass people. If you gotta walk around like you're you're like the greatest thing to mankind, then I cannot deal with you. I cannot be friends with you. I cannot hang around you. I cannot be with you. So if you're talking about like what is a deal breaker for a relationship, being bougie as fuck. I met one woman who was like that. I was like this. Nope. Start. Cause she tried to put herself above my family. I'm like, <laughs> no, you are not doing that. I'm like, how, how are you going to be above my family and expect me to, like, be around you more ha more than anything else? No. Are you religious? Not highly religious. Not highly religious. Religious enough, but not highly religious. Let's say this. I believe in God, but I do not go to, I do not go to church. I, I don't know what you want me to say. What is your strangest habit? My strangest habit, huh? Um. Wow, I have no idea. When I go outside and I see uh, like a stick and it's in like a very good position, like it's you can break it in half. I have to break it. <laughs> Is that kind of as a habit? I guess. <laughs> Have you ever had a wet dream? Define a wet dream. <laughs> what is a wet dream? <laughs> what is it? An erotic dream that causes involuntary ejaculation. Ah, I see. Well. No. I've had erotic dreams before if you if you asking me that question but none to that habit no no are you financially stable no we're gonna go up to 20 here so <laughs> so no do you usually stay friends with your exes sometimes it gotta be a good it gotta be like I know you enough to be a friend with you and that we didn't have such a terrible breakup to the point where I can't be friends with you. So if you cheated on me, we're not friends. Have you ever lost someone close to you? Um. Have I lost someone close to me? Well, if, of course I had family members die before, and that's a thing all to itself. But a very long time ago, um, I was forced out of the state of, North, of uh, not North Carolina, but Massachusetts. And um, I didn't get to see my best friend before I left. And it was highly, highly upsetting that I couldn't go see my friend. And the funny thing is, now he lives one state over from me. What's good, Wesley? <laughs> but yeah, he was someone very close to me. And I, I still miss him. And one day, I'm... I'm gonna see him again. He's gonna be like all times. Just we're not being mischievous. Maybe. <laughs> Let's be real. If you're in a bad mood, you prefer to be left alone or have someone to cheer you up. Left alone immediately. You do not want to be around me when I'm in a very pissed off mood. It's a bad thing for everyone. Now it's not that I'm like on you know untalkable. To the point where I'm going to, you know, scream and yell at everyone that's around me. But it's a better thing to leave me alone and let me sort through my feelings than anything else. Because if you let, if you do not let me, I'm going to continuously and continuously be mad until I like, I come to a resolution. And that's what happens. You know, 
my family is a little different. We like to talk through our anger and our frustrations and we talk it out. That's between that. But with everyone else, it's more along the lines of, please leave me alone. You do not want to be around me when I'm pissed off and angry. Like, if you're my girlfriend, that's a little different. You know, being there, you can cheer me up how much you want. It's, it's good that I get my frustration out. But if you're, like, a friend of mine, leave me be. Because <laughs> you're going to get the raw end of that as well. Okay, what's an ideal weekend for you? A good wrestling event. A good game where I haven't beat it all yet. And I'm very close. So I get to have a game, an event, and pizza. And some money to order out. Ideal weekend. Yes. Okay. What do you think of best friends of the opposite sex? You can be best friends with the opposite sex as much as you want. That's not a problem. I don't see why people think that's a problem. Like, you cannot be best friends with a girl. My best friend is a girl. As I said earlier, my best friend is a woman. And no, we don't very talk as often as we should. I, I can consider her a really good friend. We know each other, like, highly. Like, she didn't really like to talk about much about herself. But she knows me very well. Actually, I have two really good best friends. And I talk to her very much. And I talk and I talk and talk and talk. And no, I don't have any inclination of dating any of them. That's just going to ruin a bomb-ass friendship. So, no. <laughs> so, yeah, it's you can... You can have best friends of the opposite sex. People are overreacting. Like, you do not need to be dating the woman to be very good friends with her. Alright, we'll do one more. Just one more. Do you judge a book by its cover? And the reason why I'm doing this is because, yeah, people do this a lot. And people who have done this to me for years. The people who judge me by what I look like rather than what I am like. People hated me because of my look. Just because I didn't conform to, like, having the trendiest shirts or the trendiest shoes or what the fuck I look like. People hated me just be just because they wanted to hate me. And I got bullied relentlessly for it. And you want to know something? I didn't give in. Well, I gave in once. And it's because I... It's... It's hard when not only the students were bothering me, but the teachers were hopping on that train just to get some fucking brownie points with the other students. I don't give a fuck if you're if the students listen to you or not. Don't fucking hop on that and fucking attack me. Don't worry, I got I got two of them fired. <laughs> so if you got fired from a high school and it and it and it was after a year where you insulted a student in any way. You might have got fired by me. <laughs> do I feel bad? No. No, I do not. But, the fact of the matter is, do I judge it? No. I judge you based on your character. If you are, if you are a good person, then I don't give a fuck what you look like. I don't give a fuck what your hobbies are. I don't give a fuck how, how you look like. As long as you treat me good and you... And, and you're nice about it, and you're nice to me, then by all means, you go with me. Like, I don't care what you look like. Age is not a number. Age is, age is a restriction. Well, for relationships, that's different. Be 18 or older. If you're 18 or older, you know, date in your range, guys. Date in your range. But I'm saying for friendships, age is not a number. Age is definitely not a number. So you can be very old, you can be very young, you can you can have friends of all shapes and sizes. It doesn't matter. I've had friends that were large, I had friends that were very skinny. I've had friends who are very religious, I had friends who were very non-religious. I have friends who are atheists, I had friends who were, you know, Buddhist. I had friends who looked absolutely hideous, and I had friends who were absolutely gorgeous. Do I, does it matter to me? No, because they were all good people. And that's what matters. That's what should matter in this type of world. Let me be real with you, ladies and gentlemen. 
And if one person says it, then let let it be me. Do not look at everyone around you and think that this person is one way. They're not. You could be really good friends with this person if you decided to get to know them. If you sat there and said, hey, let me give this person a chance. Because a long time ago, my best friend, I, my best friend Wesley, he decided to give me a chance. And I decided to give him a chance. And look where we are now. We're here nearly 13 to 14 years later, still tight as can be. Me and him are still best friends. That's my homie. Regardless of what you want to say. Me and him are from two different families. Two different ways of thinking. He does different things than I do. I don't smoke. He, the dude does. Do I care what he does? No. But he's a bomb ass person. He's, he was, he's been nice to me for years. And you want something? At the beginning, me and him hated each other. Me and him wanted to kill each other. And it didn't happen. Why? Because all we had to do was sit down and give a talk. He found out that I like things that he liked, and he found out the same damn thing. And what happened? We ended up being friends for years. It's been nearly two decades. So, let's just be a lesson to everyone. Maybe that quiet kid in class, maybe he likes things that you do. Maybe he do, maybe you don't. Maybe you'll find out something about him that maybe you'll be interested in. Or maybe you'll learn something from him. Who knows? All you have to do is give it a shot. And I promise you. Maybe in the end, you'll end up with a very good friend and a nice place to hang out. Or you can just enjoy someone's company. Either way, give a person a shot. Maybe eventually, the person, another person will give you a shot when you're down the most. It happened to me, and I can guarantee you it happened to you. So, I'm going to leave it here. I'll probably come back and do this eventually. Do more of this eventually. Probably, like, just Saturday. Who knows? But, anyway. um, This was a lot of fun, guys. If you guys like what you see here, on the left-hand side of the screen, you guys will see my last Q&A that I have ever done. Then on the right-hand side of the screen, click on it. Click on my avatar to join the Dragonlings. Why? Because we do something like this every single day. And I promise you, I'm really down to earth. I don't sit here and I don't judge everyone. I'm here to have fun. As you just seen, I'm a pretty stable person and I'm a very nice person. So, join in and have a little bit of fun with me. I'm always around. And I always read everyone's comments. So, if you want to leave a comment, you get probably get a shout out in the next uh, comments video. Leave a comment. I always read them all. But anyway, good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed today, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game of Dragon action. Peace. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go put these things up because right now, as you can see, it's getting light out and I have two other videos I need to get done because good lord, oh, just good lord, peace.